<laughs> oh well. Are we on? We're on. We're on. I was supposed to do it the other way around. <laughs> it's okay. And I didn't. I, I did it. I got it. The Why are you taller than me? Because I'm sitting on my uh, feet. <laughs> that, that that just doesn't make any sense to me. That doesn't make any sense. I've to got me my at all. feet folded underneath my sitting area. I wanted to. I really, really, really wanted to eat this horalki. I really, really, really oh. And we've, we've started recording. I know you can't. Why did she start recording before doing the oral game? Because um, I'm a What's spoon. That? Like an impulse. Like, I can't resist that red button on that screen. No, it was just a mistake, actually. Oh. <laughs> it, was a, it was just a mistake. Um, that guy who's there, yeah. Henry Ma Matus, is that the photographer guy? Is he the photographer guy who does all those cool pictures? I don't know. Or is that somebody else? I don't. <laughs> no, it's come back. You're scaring people. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're looking into his eye or something. Oh, my God. You suddenly became the all-seeing eye there for a second. Oh, that was, I was like, who is, who is that? Maybe if I stare into the camera, I'll be able to see who it is. Well, oh. I didn't, didn't see who it is at all. I was trying to see through the phone, you know, uh, into his living room, but... No, it doesn't no, it didn't it, happen. No, it's only no, one no way. Idea. Wouldn't that be so cool, though? If that would you be. Could, you could see the people... You could just get real close and... <laughs> <laughs> if you could see the people who are watching, watching you, <laughs> right? Oh that my would, that would That would be kind of neat. That would be kind of the next level, right? That would be like a Skype conference call, right? Well, there's no reason why why Facebook couldn't function like a Skype conference call. I think it does, actually. I think you can do that through the messenger, no? Having multiple, you can do. I, I know you can do video on. calls. I'm not sure if you can do, do multiple video I'm calls. I'm going to be holding this wafer peanut chocolate biscuit for the next hour and drool and dro I'm, gonna start <laughs> have a, I'm going to be having a Pavlovian <laughs> reflexes going on he's <laughs> cracking me up there he's just walking around repeating things from Mary Poppins yeah yeah uh, well you know what the rule is with lightsabers oh, right. yeah yeah we have a rule no lightsabers in the kitchen <laughs> things, things, things get, things get broken. Yeah, because that waiter there is a bit dangerous. Okay, I've put the light in the wrong place. Did you? Yeah, because every time you go forwards and backwards, I get lighter and darker. And your shadow is like kind of Nosferatu on, on, on the back wall there. It's okay. I can stay back like this. Step back. Step back. I just hope they don't wake Jasmine up. I'm so, I, I really so badly want to eat this haralki. Well, why don't you have a bite? I'm because sure they will forgive. Ev everyone's going to hear me going crunch, 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 crunch. I apologize. I apologize for for the audio of, of, of the. <laughs> oh God, mm, that so sounds tasty. <laughs> oh, so good. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to chop up some sushi for Zora's baby. You can do that. Chop up the sushi with your invisible lightsaber, Will. Oh, I have a, I have mm -hmm. a, I have a mm -hmm. plastic mm -hmm. knife in there. I can use it. Ah, there you go. There you go. There you go. Plastic knife Just is much better to chop to for chopping sushi up than a lightsaber. Mm. I don't think they heard it. He oh. he needed to use his lightsaber to chop up some sushi for uh, Zora's baby. <laughs> but he he remembered he has a plastic knife, so that's okay. Right. Won't be long before they're performing operations with that, right? <laughs> mm. On the baby, probably. Is your cup safe there? Well, unless you drink it. <laughs> Just looking at a cup that's sitting on an angle disturbs me. <laughs> I don't know why it just disturbs me. There's nothing wrong with it. It just disturbs. Uh, like it's a lot your of perfectionism. Uh, a lot of things disturb me. Yeah. Yeah. 
Anyway, I disturb me, in fact. Do you? I do. I disturb myself. What do you do to disturb yourself? <laughs> just, I'm just being... Exist. Being me, <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's it. That's the thing. Absolutely. Right. My own existence disturbs I'm me. Torture. I'm hey, torturing. Doctor, doctor. Do what? <laughs> My own existence disturbs me. That's what do you recommend? Doctor, doctor. I feel like a pair of curtains. Pull yourself together, man. <laughs> <laughs> where do you where do you get all these jokes? Doctor Doctor, I feel like a bridge. <laughs> well so, what's come over you? Uh two buses, three cars. <laughs> bad joke. It's a bad. Bad joke. If anyone knows any doctor doctor jokes, I <laughs> can Share them in the chat. <laughs> oh dear. Right. Um, welcome to Practical Parenting. Your daily dose of... Humor. Senselessness. <laughs> <laughs> senselessness. Um, so what, what happens to parents after 8 o'clock in the evening is they go rapidly downhill. That light is flashing over there. Well, well, can you come here for a minute, please, mate? It's very important that you come here very quickly. I'm not sure you can hear you. Thank you very much. Well, please turn off the light in that room. I, keep for I always keep forgetting. Yes, I know. That's why I'm asking you it's to do it right now. It's one of those things. It's one of those things. Well, you don't. <laughs> just pressed it four times. <laughs> oh, it's what? off. On, <laughs> off, <laughs> on. If you press it four times, Will, <laughs> it'll be back. It, it'll be back on again. No. Three, off, on, off, I on. Be back on. Off Will, do you know why we have hands? So that we can hold mm -hmm. the Lego parts and use the Lego parts to turn lights off. No. With. Anyway. Uh, thank you very much for your assistance. Thank you, Will. There you go. Thank you very much for your assistance. I will call on you again when I need you. Yeah. So, my darling, what are we going to talk about today? Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Um, I, I want to discuss some of the things that were in the free mail. And then we've got things that we didn't finish yesterday. And That's true. There's a whole bunch of stuff. There's also a couple of a couple of news articles. I was looking for inspiration on forums and I came across a really disturbing string what do you call it? Thread. <laughs> Piece of string. Yeah. Uh, when you do What's No, happening? don't touch it. You've you've wrapped that Ooh. cable around your mic. Right. Women Oh God, women and technology. You're supposed to go <gasps> men and Man. No, okay, all right. Guess what? Um, what? 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 <laughs> You've got your cable wrapped around your mic. You, what? Ah, did you stop? You had exactly the same thing done with your mic. You spooner. <laughs> <laughs> you know that's it. You know what that... You <laughs> <laughs> you don't, do you? You, no. don't, you don't know what you've just said, and I can't say what you've just said because <laughs> it's going to go out to all those people out there that are either watching live on Facebook or listening <laughs> on the podcast. Which isn't yeah. something extremely inappropriate. Do you remember watching Glee? Yes. Right, and there was this scene where they were all sitting around talking about, I think, talking about ice cream. And. One of them says, we can't all have ice cream. We've only got one spoon. Yeah. And then the girl says, I wouldn't mind sharing a spoon with quite a few of you. And it was a reference to something else. Yeah. Okay. So I, I just let your imagination run wild. Okay. 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 Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, um... I'm not exactly sure what it is, actually, but I know, I know what it's connected to, but I'm not exactly sure what it is, because I've never, ever been, I never cared enough to go and actually 
I'm sure that if I if I uh, try to look for it on Urban Dictionary, I'm going to uh, find something extremely disturbing. <laughs> after eight o'clock, things go downhill rapidly. I wanted to after after Mary Poppins, uh, Mary Poppins, and in the other musicals that we were watching. Yeah. Um, I wanted I wanted to download um, one of the other Disney musicals, Bed Knobs and Broomsticks. We've got that. Not on that disc though. Uh, yes. Is it on that disc? Yes. Oh, I didn't know that. There's so many films on that disc. I didn't know it was on there for the yes, kids. Yes, it's oh, on there. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Anyway, I wanted to download that for the kids because I didn't think it was on the disc. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I got a porn film. <laughs> <laughs> Called Bed Nubs and Broomsticks. <laughs> Bro- broomsticks. <laughs> well, I'm glad you didn't put it on for the kids then. Because that would have been slightly... Oh, no, I just, uh, I, I, when I realized what it was, I deleted it before even checking it because I didn't see any point in checking it because I would be disturbed by what I checked and I'd just be thinking about what I checked instead of what I wanted to be doing. So. wonder if it had Angela Lansbury. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's all kind of weird because... Because then I was then I was thinking, oh, the sound of music. <laughs> this is also all true. It's all true. I haven't made these connections before, right? Okay. So I was like, the sound of music. Um, it's got Julie Andrews in it, and yeah. Mary Poppins has got Julie Andrews in it. And yeah. I was like, oh, see if there's any other good Julie Andrews films that I don't know about, right, uh-huh. that we can watch. And so I, I just like I looked somewhere. The top three Julie Andrews films. Was, oh, the, obviously, sound of music, Mary Poppins, and the third one. Um, she plays a an actress in a film where the director persuades her to take her clothes off. <laughs> it's like, what is going on? What is going on? Anyway. Is um, there anything you're not telling me? Do you have any kind of deprivations? There's... <laughs> <laughs> I know it's I'm, just I'm subconscious deprived. trying I'm to deprived. tell you something. <laughs> so it's, the, it's the internet. It keeps throwing this stuff at me. Yeah. You know what that torrent system is like. Anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, right. Who would have thought it? Hey. Every <laughs> <laughs> I Any, don't anyway, know. every every time you um, every time you think of the every time you you scroll through the films and you see. I'm going to think of. Think of yeah. Right. I'm just I'll gonna. Just don't don't. Yeah. I'm sorry. I apologize for bringing that up now because it's all going to be in the subtext of everything. And that's that's going to be an issue. Anyway, um, bless you. Face- Facebook didn't delete. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> what can you say today? You're welcome. <laughs> oh, Philip's in the house. Check that out. Hey, man. R e d b u l l. What's new? I I saw a picture of him on with one of the F1 tracks, and uh, you know what F1 is. Yes. Right. I'm just checking. Cause yes. Because I'm a woman. Because you're a woman, right? Yeah. Um, and F1. Uh, it's not yeah. like a chess position, right? <laughs> it might be. A B C D E. Oh, it does. It does appear on. Yeah. F1 to C3 P O. Right. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, uh, F1 um, track. Yeah, he he's, he's seems to be um, seems to be having a whale of a time, as they say in English. A Good. Whale, a whale of a time. Good. Right. Um, hanging out with the crews and making his little films and. Wow. Lucky, lucky bastard. I'm having a whale of a time right now. With my arm, there in the air. Like, like, wave it, wave your Like, I just air, don't care. Like wave it like you just don't care. Yeah. Right, okay. <laughs> You're not having a whale of a time. I am, actually. I'm feeling very relaxed. I've handed in my translation today, which is yeah. extremely stressful. It's been stressing me out for about four days. I've noticed. I've noticed that conversations were not conversations. No. They were like, I need to finish this conversation as quickly as possible so I can get back to doing what's really important. Yeah. It's been like that for, yeah. for two days. Yeah, yeah. I was very stressed out, and I, and I didn't have time to do anything. How did you? How did, did you come to, to the point of getting stressed out? Well, it's always like that with with what I'm doing. Um, 
It's always like that with the translations because every Why? because fifty percent of translations. If you're listening to this podcast, I'm drinking orange juice. Sorry. Uh, fifty percent of translations that I get are on tight schedule, right? There's a big load. Why do people do things at the last minute? Why can't anyone get themselves organized? I'm sick of that. I know. I'm sick of that too. But if I, I'm, I'm not right now. I'm not in a situation where I can say, well, you know, keep your last minute translation to yourself. I don't want to get get myself stressed out, right? Uh, and I'm sure I'm gonna get there someday. Okay, but right now I'm not there. <laughs> right now I'm in a stage where I go. Work job, like right good. Now. Job, good. I Am take I supposed it. supposed to rearrange Thank you. those two words into. No. No, no I'm not supposed to do no. that. Job, good. Yes. <laughs> How do you feel? Job, good. <laughs> <laughs> How was your day? No job, job good. no good. Exactly, absolutely. Yes. So uh, right now I'm feeling good because I've finished the job. Tomorrow I'm going to feel uh, slightly less good because I will be wanting more jobs to do. Boy, isn't that some kind of weird cycle of nothingness where you do a job that you don't want to do and finish it and then have to find another job that you don't want to do? Isn't oh, it's not that I don't want to do it. I enjoy doing it. <coughs> but run, run that by me again. Um, I enjoy doing the translations. The part that I do not enjoy is when I am stressed for time. Right mm -hmm. when 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 people give me too much and, and want to too say fast, that it happens quite often. Or did I? Uh, yes, it like does that? happen quite often. Yes, yes. Right. Sometimes I don't mind it because it's not too bad, but mm -hmm. sometimes it's mm -hmm. it is too bad. Okay, welcome to practical parenting. We will get to something which is connected to parenting connected somehow. To parenting somehow yes. at some point in time. If you hear screams. In the background, that sounds like somebody's being tortured. It's probably Will being tortured by his sisters, but um, we'll try to ignore that for now. Um, anyway, um, let's 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 breeze through a couple of stories I picked up from the news today, and this is going to be like like thirty seconds, right, on each one. Good, because they're not really interesting. That, that, <laughs> is that interesting? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Why um, are we breezing through them then? Well, because. Um, because I'm, I'm shifting focus. Okay. Yeah, because I just thought people don't want to hear us talking about nothing. They want to hear us Shift talking it, about baby. something. Shift so, it, baby. So I put it, I'm putting it into gear. And um, yeah, from uh, this is a story from Norway. Um, I don't know quite how I... I no way. Really? It's a, did you know Norway is a real country? <laughs> no way. <laughs> did you... Did you <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you! Oh, no, that was a joke. Ding. Okay, I am so stupid. Right. Um, apparently, the government have set up a special council mm -hmm. uh, that's been charged with strengthening the national identity of Norway, and they've decided that the young people of the country have uh, ha have too much English. Okay. <laughs> they have too much English, and they need to limit it. Okay. Can you believe that? That's stupid. Isn't that, isn't, that, isn't that insane? Isn't that like going backwards? Yeah. Right, isn't that like just, I don't know. So how do they do it? women to, to, to wear clothes all over their body and not letting them go out, right? I mean so uh, how do they limit so. English? That's that's quite interesting. How do they limit English exposure? Um, <coughs> well, I, I don't know. They'll probably ban the internet. I mean, it's probably the first thing they'll do. And then they'll uh, they'll probably fine people for speaking the language. Uh, you know, how but the, you're just, just how guessing, right? Yeah, you didn't yeah, read that course, in the no, article. Not in the article. Okay. But I was thinking about what the British government did to the, the Scottish people. Uh -huh. Right. You know. Yeah, but they can't do that now because... Well, they shouldn't do that now because we're kind of further on. Should be a bit further on. Than we, sh we should be. We should be, but it's always you know, earlier. 100 than years ago. <laughs> 200, I think. 200, 200 years ago. Was three maybe, or four maybe. or whatever. 250, I think. Anyway, um, but that's okay. I just sent all the Scots to America. And uh, <laughs> then the Americans had a revolution. <laughs> so you can't, you, can, you can't keep a good country down. Right? You can't keep a good dog down. It's a song. 
<laughs> you can't keep a good dog. It's quite yesterday. You're not talking about Snoop Dogg. No, you? it was yesterday in the in the old dogs go to heaven film. He just kind of pulled it out of my subconscious. That's a thing. really strange film. <laughs> yes. It wouldn't happen to be sponsored by Christian groups, would it? Because it's really. It's, it's, it's about really mafia, <laughs> actually, isn't it? Not the Christian mafia. Okay. Right. There you <laughs> go. But there is such a thing. Um, anyway, they, they interviewed kids, and kids are like, we like to use English. We find it quite helpful. <laughs> you know, and, and the other's like, no, we need to limit it. So I guess the, the kids... It kids reminds me of France, actually. You know how French uh, try to protect their language by not letting people use like generic English words. And you know how you adopt... English words for some things like software, hardware, because it's it comes from it's that easy, country, right? It's easier pulling my cable. And um, the French just have to find a French invent. How? Huh? <laughs> oh. so, so, sorry. <laughs> French have to invent a French word for everything. They, they just don't. They just can't let an English word they have to, invent to word. be in French language. They're there must like be some odd examples. Extremely scared, like. So, uh, like uh, I don't know. You don't have software. You've got logiciel, right? Logici logiciel. Logiciel. Yes. Où est le logiciel? Exactly. Uh -huh. <laughs> when when do when do you ask where is software? Like in your daily conversation. Uh, bonjour. Comment ça va? Où est le logiciel? Où est le logiciel? Ah, je voudrais un sandwich jambon. Exactly. Grand. Please. Is that, is that French? I'm not sure. I'm, 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 I don't know whether they have a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Is grand French for big? Yes. Uh -huh. Oh, c'est le grand tour if the de, de evil. Mm. <laughs> You're right there. <laughs> no. Right, so what next? Onions, bicycles, stripy shirts. Oh my gosh, frogs, snails. Puppy dog's tails. <laughs> 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 That's what little <laughs> boys are made of. Yeah. Sorry. Did you don't know that? That's actually a children's nursery rhyme. Oh, frog snails, puppy dog tails. Yes. Really? Yes. I thought you just made it up. I, I thought I thought you were a poet or something. No, no, not me. You've got me confused with somebody else. No. Oh. Sugar and spice and all things nice. That's what little girls are made of. Okay. Rats and snails and puppy dogs tails. That's what little boys are made of. Um, I, I don't know. Do you, do you have to that's go probably that's probably banned uh, now because it promotes gender, whatever stereotypes. Yeah, <laughs> and it doesn't include multiculturalism. Yeah, so exactly. So there we go. Um, <laughs> it doesn't. Yeah. Okay. Next article. We got, that was a good thirty seconds, wasn't it? Welcome, to Larissa's languages. You're not going to pick up anything useful here about languages, but. You might pick up a few parenting tips, but most parents know things. Most parents know everything already, apparently. So we can't help anyone. <laughs> so this is just for us, right? Because um, we're narcissistic and we like to see ourselves in the phone, right? Well, <laughs> stop whacking me. Sorry, it's a lot for whacking. <laughs> I'm only hitting you because I love you. You know how it children... It hurts me more than it hurts you. No, what? no, it's not that kind no. of whacking. It's the kind of whacking like when a whacking. when a child wants to play. Uh, I thought there was a Scottish town. That's Gherkin. Oh, what? that's Gherkin. No, Scottish town. Yeah, that's whacking. Dumb. Whacking dumb. upon something. <laughs> upon the head. Yes. <laughs> it's probably a London pub. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I You're just. You're thinking of Dundee. <laughs> <laughs> or some other place completely irrelevant. Scottish right. village called Whacking. It's not, cool. it's not. Scottish villages all have <laughs> names that come from the throat, like Achter Machter. <laughs> It sounds like you're about to <laughs> spit in someone's face. <laughs> or or beer. <laughs> what? Me <laughs> beer. <laughs> I can't understand a thing you're saying. Spit in 
someone's beer. Why would you want to do that? <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is what you learned at university. <laughs> well, I was working at the Zlati Bajant pub. Oh, okay. Mm. Did you work in a pub? Yeah, of I course forgot. I did. I forgo- if, I, if I knew, I forgot. Of course I did. Probably I worked purpose. everywhere. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> would ever. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I worked everywhere and I did everything. Uh, okay, right. According to... Um, oh, the last article was from some Norwegian website. So it's irrelevant. Um, and Norway is a real country, really. I, I know it's hard to believe. Right. Um... With the with the most fascinating coastline you've ever seen. Because they have fjords, do they? Yeah, they do have fjords. That's a good place to park your boat. I'm sure it is. Right. If you have a boat, if I have, don't. If you have one. Right. Uh, Probably difficult when that's all covered in ice, though. Right. Yeah, but you know that w- that would have been about a million years ago. Yeah. Uh, mm. Or maybe a yeah. hundred thousand. I don't know. Um, my my history on my ice age history is uh, well the thing is that it's quite cold in norway in the, anyway <laughs> what do you know about norway it's quite cold <laughs> and they have boats <laughs> oh okay and they don't according like to naturalnews.com teenagers waste 40 days a year looking at mobile devices 40 days a year 40 days a year can you believe that 40 days out of out of their year they are they are staring into into their mobiles. That's it's scary. It, it's freaky. It's like it being in a coma for. And this is also it's also changed. Um, people are looking apparently looking down instead of like in the past people looked up or like to the horizons. Yeah. Now people are just looking down. Yeah. Um, maybe like human evolution will just like add an extra vertebrae and flip the head forward and no one will look up ever again. Um, hope not. Uh, hope not. Hope not. I'm just going to be extremely relaxed today, okay, everybody? You can't do that here. Just going to kind of... Two, two kids running around. Sit here with, with my... And with my... Uh, third one that's going to wake up soon. Sore tricep muscles stretched behind my head. <laughs> Welcome to Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm actually looking quite grey. We're doing the black and white thing cause, um, because all the colours are wrong. And because we're like hoping that it's going to look a bit more serious. Yeah, we're hoping that Facebook will leave the audio in as well and not cut it out or chop it up like it did before. That would be cool. Is this mean beast some kind of are. buns there? Would you stop? Oh, no, what this is, actually, Yeah. what the great gods of the internet do yeah. is when they've got websites they don't want you to visit. Now, believe it or not, this is true. There's lists of them. You can find these lists on the internet. Google has a list of websites that they don't want you to they visit. limit the searches for. Naturalnews.com is one of those. In fact, yeah. they delisted naturalnews.com from their search engine for a while mm-hmm. until people complained. Mm-hmm. You would like search naturalnews.com. You put it into Google. There'd be nothing there. Mm. It's a freaky. I, I, I tested it myself. It's, it's true. Okay. What they do to discourage people from visiting those sites, yeah. they specifically put the oddest and ugliest adverts possible on the site. They do that. They, they actually have got algorithms. Evil. Do, I know. It's evil. Yeah. So, um, uh, anyway, that's an example of a ridiculous thing that distracts you from the main story. Right. Um, so it's not buns. So okay. <laughs> it's not buns, it's eggs. Right. Um, so uh, it was a study from Britain and uh, by uh, by some company. Uh, let's see if I can find the name. It was reported in the Daily Mail. Mm-hmm. Um, 1,240 people were inter- interviewed, Viewed. including parents and children. And uh, that, that's basically it. There's nothing overly surprising about the whole thing. We know that mobile phones are definitely affecting uh, culture in both a positive and a negative way. Uh, researchers, I, we can add that, researchers found that heart rate and blood pressure can be altered by your use, your connection, your contact with your mobile phone as well. It was. It's even been suggested that it is theoretically possible that someone could have a heart attack if you take their phone away from them. That's freaky. Sig- yeah, uh, that's freaky. Uh, uh, mobile phones now statistically being being more addictive than cigarettes. 
Yeah. Giving someone a choice between, do you want the, the, your packet of cigarettes on your mobile phone? You can only live with one of these. Everyone chooses their phone. Of course. So phones are more addictive than cigarettes. Which but that's bad. But but that's in a way that's good because they're choosing their phone to keep in contact with people and with the world and to, to yeah, find th- out well, that's information. Yeah, well, intelligent right? people do. But I mean, you have to wonder if they're not just scrolling down through their Facebook feed, not finding anything interesting going on because they're surrounded by people who have exactly the same opinions as they have, mm, right? True. Waiting for the next song by your favorite artist to be released. Anyway, you remind me of a, of, of an article that I saw about how walking barefoot uh, affects uh, the blood circulation in your face. <laughs> well, excuse me? <laughs> Sorry, I thought, I thought you were talking about feet there. Yeah, it's... Yeah. Walking barefoot yes. affects the blood circulation in your face. Yes, and but probably brain as well. I, I don't know. I haven't really read much from the oh, article. Wow. But okay. okay, okay. so I know that there's a connection with the earth and there, there are yeah. this ionic transfer, right, between... You've got acupressure as well, right? I okay. mean, the stones okay. pushing your acupressure points. Okay. It should, you know, I imagine that it promotes the blood circulation in the whole body. And anyway. so that, and that and that affects the face. That affects everything, including Does the face. Does it make you smile? Imagine it that does, walking does barefoot would make me smile. It's not very practical walking around barefoot though, outside, unless you're like on, unless you're in your own garden walking on the grass or something like that. Well, I walked, I walked barefoot down to the the, the kids' play area, which is down at the, you know, where we've been, where the kids climb the tree. Like, okay, yeah. yeah okay, and I like it. It's it's very nice. It feels nice for the feet when you walk barefoot. I like it as well. It's just not practical. You were saying you were making that point yesterday about your your Nike trainers, right? Yeah. The, they appear to be pointy. tapered and pointed at the end, and the yeah. people don't have po- point. I like your point. People don't have pointed feet. Yeah. So, why do all these trainers and all these shoes? All shoes, seriously, all shoes Especially either go I like this, women's right, shoes, right, or they they have round top, but people don't have round feet either. Remember when right? you say go like this? That we're not only doing a live stream. Yeah, right, with the video on Facebook, but, but we're, we're also doing, doing a podcast. podcast. Okay, so no one's going to. So I mean, most about. shoes have round toe section, right? But people don't have round toe section. I mean, your your middle toe would have to be the longest, right? But that's not true. There's probably a couple of weird people who have that. I mean, you have the 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 vast majority of people have a dominant big toe, right? And then it kind of slopes <laughs> down. Those on the podcast, we are now staring at her foot. <laughs> and uh, go on, put your foot up to the camera. Yeah, go on, get. No. <laughs> oh, this get one's up. closer. Right. Right. So, <laughs> so see, <laughs> big toe, hot. big toe here, right? <laughs> <laughs> and right. it kind of slopes down on the big toe. Yeah. Why don't Why don't and shoes kind of slope like that? Exactly. Yeah, like and the foot is. Line. This is where the foot is the wi- widest, actually, yeah. up here, right? And then it kind of goes down so <laughs> ah! <Is> that <laughs> wait no <laughs> no I'm gonna I'm gonna draw I'm gonna draw <laughs> <laughs> you're ruining my work of art I'm ruining your podcast as well because <laughs> I'm screaming in wait no I just have to draw another, I have to draw another he's eye. drawing on my foot and it look you've ruined the eye <laughs> wait <laughs> Oh, oh you could at fun. least you could at least find a s- soft felty pen or something, no a bloody. I like these pens. It's yeah, nice. these but pens it's very nice. sharp and it takes anyway. Sharp, yes, exactly, to the point, yes. So, I mean, I'm not only talking about women's mm-hmm. shoes with high heels, which are just a thing of torture if you ask me which are like that? this why do they right do just stupid Women don't even know why they do it we've seen we've seen the men's shoes we, i was in a shoe shop with the kids because i was looking whether i can find any sensible shoes for the kids but i couldn't okay but you could, what's a sensible shoe well what what's i just described what is a sensible shoe what i just described oh, okay. okay where there's enough space for the toes I've seen that Facebook ad for that thing you wrap around your foot and it becomes a shoe. It looks really cool. Have you seen that? I have, yes. Yeah. Um, Why don't you make one of those? Because 
Along with building a <laughs> ship and flying a rocket to the moon. No, I was looking at them actually uh, because I saw them somewhere cheap and I was thinking, right, I would wear this in the autumn and the water would get into that shoe like extremely quickly, right? <laughs> I was thinking <laughs> it's water. not... Well, we, don't, we don't live in a submarine. <laughs> no, but, but it rains in the autumn and it's the kind of shoe that... When it gets wet, it gets wet. You know, that's it. It's not going to stop any wetness from getting to your feet. When it gets wet, it gets wet. Right. Gets your socks wet. Right. Pretend I understand that. Anyway, so, um, yeah, and, and we saw these, these male shoes, right? And not only... Madness. Not only were the shoes, you know, tapered, as you said, but they were also squared off at the toes. Squared off at the top. Yeah, so so they were like, no, were like three cent. Yeah, they were like three centimeters all wide. Because all feet are rectangles. Of <laughs> the to the right toe part, the toe part was like three centimeters wide because they were tapered, and then well, they and then saw squared off. Feet at birth into a rectangle, and then all the shoes will just. Fit or into perfectly. a triangle. I know. Yeah. And then so many people have problems, right? I mean, Monica, my friend, when she started to wear proper shoes. The barefoot shoes. She got rid of. She so yeah. You say bear, I have to do that. Yeah, she got rid of her headaches completely. With barefoot shoes. She's had headaches ever since she was in puberty, right? And it wasn't anything to do with puberty. And it wasn't anything to do with puberty. It was everything to do with shoes and her spine. And once she changed her shoes, she changed the position of her body, and mm. she got rid of her headaches completely. Huh. That's interesting. It is. I think that would work with my headaches. I don't know. It depends on whether your headaches are caused by uh, by, by your neck neck spine. <laughs> but yeah, no. Is that a part of the body? Yes. <laughs> doctor, doctor, I have a problem with my neck spine. Ah, <laughs> uh, you've been speaking to Yanka, haven't you? Right. Yanka. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call it then? What? What's your, that? Your neck. What's that part of spine called? I don't know. I'm not a, not a, and but not. You're not a spinist. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I'll tell you, I'm not. I'm not a chiropractor either, right? Okay. Okay. Um, moving on. Yes. Because we we completely derailed that topic. Mm -hmm. um, also, according to naturalnews.com, because it's the only website I read, not um, the Rom the Roman Empire. Uh, does not exist anymore. Does, no, it doesn't exist anymore. No, that's a shock. Uh, just disappeared overnight. Um, apparently, one of the reasons for its downfall, as an article, was that uh, they poisoned their own citizens by using lead in pipes to transport water. Mm -hmm. And I, was, I just thought it was an interesting example of how you think you're making progress and you're doing great things. It's like, oh, we can make lead pipes and we can transport water all the way across the country. We can build all these networks and systems. And they thought they were great, but just basically they were very slowly poisoning their entire population. I mean, I, I, I th and I thought that was a fantastic example of how you can think you're doing something great, but not have all the information and just be made, making a complete F up of, F up of you know. I c like, like half of modern medicine, right? Oh, uh, yes. Well, they, it is like that when they don't do the longitudinal studies and they, you know, they don't present all the, th they, they, they have selective data processes and things. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, that's all kind of nonsense. Wasn't it the British Medical Journal, the, the director of the British Medical Journal resigned saying like, I think 50% of the papers we publish are false. So, I mean, uh, you, can, you mm -hmm. can find quotes about that on the internet. I mean, it's quite freaky. Yeah. So, not only the British Medical Journal, the Lancet as well, another another international paper. Yeah. That, that guy resigned as well. Um, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> you're right there. People just resigning everywhere. Well, I need to. You're you oppressing me with your leg again. I'm oppressing you. Yeah. Do you feel oppressed? Yeah. Heavily. Is that part of the uh, um, male dominance thing? It's gotta be. <laughs> You've got this dominant leg. Always oppresses me. My <laughs> doctor, it's my dominant leg. <laughs> 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 
Anyway, you get the point. That was just the point I wanted to make. I'm not going to read the article, but um, mm-hmm. I just thought it was interesting. Oh, there was one other thing in the article which, which sort of popped out, was that they were examining the pipes in the ports. And one of the ports is now three miles inland mm-hmm. because of changes over time. Mm-hmm. And I was thinking, so all that stuff about global warming... And about how the sea levels about are the rising. the sea levels rising in the Roman ports are like now three miles inland, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> that can't be. There's something going on there, right? There's Perhaps a volcano on. or something? Um, I don't know. Yeah, I'll, I don't know. Maybe the land rose. I don't know. There's all these earthquakes around the Mediterranean. Maybe area, they anyway. built it up like in that movie about that hill that became a mountain. Oh, it was a Hugh Grant film, right? Yeah. The man who walked up a hill and came, came down, down the mountain. Came down the mountain, yeah. What a ridiculous title. <laughs> oh. It's cool, though. It's one of those... It's one, it's one of those very Hugh long films, titles right. that, that are actually cool. It's where Hugh Grant plays the charming fop. I think fop is the right word. What's a fop? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Hugh Grant. <laughs> they made that word fop. for him, right? Fop, it's kind of... the Polite... Friendly, nice, weak, unmanly character. Oh. Yeah, who... Uh, like Nemerdom. Who bumbles and stumbles around and still manages to get the girl. Like who, sorry? It's a Slovak word for it. Could you not do that with your head, please? Why? Because you're, you're doing the thing with the light and I'm getting... I'm just going light, dark, light, dark, <laughs> light, dark, light, dark. I look like an... My, my head looks like an ambulance. <laughs> Sorry, right. I just like to nod. Nod. <laughs> <laughs> you can't stop, can you? There's just no stopping you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's one of those days. Do you know, moving on, do you know the, <laughs> do you know the Sudbury Valley School? Have you heard of that? Yes. The, um, I think it's one of those democratic yes. schools. Yes, uh-huh. where yeah. everybody does what they want. And everybody somehow manages to learn mm-hmm. things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, they had a very interesting article about uh, activity versus activities. Um, the people come to their school asking, what activities do you have for kids? Mm-hmm. And the, the whole principle is the whole school is about you are active or nothing happens. Yeah. Right. So, it, it, so they don't have like activities. Yeah, the kids make yeah. the activities. Yeah. Um, is they, they were talking about it and saying that in the school, students of all ages are visibly active all day, all the time. The place is yeah. like a beehive, even though they don't have any fixed curriculum. Mm-hmm. Which I think. Is, what have you what done? Have you, what have you done this evening, Will? What have, what have you hurt? I've been walking along the top of the sofa until I slipped and I hit my. Yeah. My rib against the sofa and my foot landed really hard against the floor. Okay, do you, uh, do you think you should have been doing that? Ah, well, therein might be the problem a little bit. Now, um, do you think you've broken anything? No. I no. Feel like broken. Good. What about broken? Has anything in the room broken? That wasn't actually really a serious question. I was just getting his mind off topic. He went to check. What? <laughs> they, can't, they can't not bang, can they? No. The kids, kids bang. Yeah. <laughs> Get over it. Nothing broke. Nothing broke. Okay, well that's that's great. That's Thank positive. you very much for informing us. Uh, please, please stay safe and remember that people live under us, and uh, we try not to make loud bangs in the evening if it's at all possible. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, I just uh, I imagine that ninja kind of move means that everything's cool. No. Yeah. Right. If you so. can move like a ninja, you're not too hurt. Obviously. I, think. Um, I think we should finish watching that movie that we started yesterday with that guy. I'm sorry, did I jump <laughs> into something? Stop it. Hold that thought, place it in the back of your mind, and we'll have that conversation later. Okay. 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 Um, anyway, about the Sudbury, the Sudbury Valley School. There's yeah. no... Uh, Smorgasbord of activities prepared for for the kids by the staff. Uh, there's no list of a bulletin board of things to do. There are occasional functions, but all the initiative comes from the students in the community. They live or perish according to the degree of interest that the students have in what they're doing. 
which uh, which I think is kind of nice. The key difference that this school presents is that is is as it says here is what lies at the heart of the school. All the activity that goes on comes from within each student. That's cool. Uh, yeah, I just thought that was a really nice. Well, that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing with Will right now, basically. Well, and and, and doesn't this slightly partially. connect to the Finnish schools idea that we talked about? Yeah, before, it does. Where they they're removing the subjects from the curriculum and having this more holistic approach. Ah, it might seem that way, but no, it's not actually. They have done nothing but bang for the last ten, fifteen minutes. Specifically, when I asked them not to bang. They started to make loud bangs. Breathe. I'm, I'm losing my parental rash, ra composure. Rash, right, composure. That's a great word. Thank yeah. you. Yes. We um, all do that. Hmm. It's it's the time, isn't it? It's the time. They're they're. I'm they're in the evening. I can get so nervous. I'm better now, but. When I was in Scotland, it was horrible. Yeah. I would like put the kids to bed around nine, right? Mm -hmm. Which is quite early compared to our normal schedule. Mm -hmm. And I was already so just like pre-pissed off. I don't know why. With the kids? Um, yeah, because they naturally slow down in the evening. For, right. th for those for those on the podcast, you chew and I'll be talking. I will yeah. Now be taking <laughs> another bite of the 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 wafer peanut chocolate biscuit. So I mean, kids naturally slow down in the evening, so everything takes longer for them, and they need to put their pajamas on, and they need to brush their teeth, and then they want a story, and then they want another story, and I'm tired, and I just want them to be in bed, right, and be quiet, so that I can. Either chill or well, that sleep. Was because you didn't have a, I want to say a foil. I'm not sure if that's the right term. Didn't have someone to ease the pressure in a real sense. Like mm -hmm. if you had me there, then you would have been able to maybe take a step back. Yeah, probably. And, and you couldn't because you had to be involved all the time with everything. Probably, on, probably so. I couldn't. Yeah. Also, also your parents were both tired in the evening mm -hmm. and you, your mom was yeah I know and your mom was uh, like you know she's like okay after six o'clock in the evening just mm -hmm. don't don't you know don't throw the kids at me <laughs> mm -hmm. she, yeah she would I mean they might stick you know she was where I was at nine o'clock she was at seven o'clock okay, okay. <laughs> that makes sense related to the age yes so yeah, it wasn't like, you know, here we just kind of chill out on the sofa and the kids kind of go to bed by themselves and we just watch a movie or something. We didn't we didn't do that there, so maybe we were missing that, I don't know, but but in the evening I just get like mm -hmm. do everything fast and naturally they in the evening do everything slow, so Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that's when I lose Thank my you. composure. Thank you, thank you for sharing. Sometimes I wake up with lost composure, <laughs> and then, and then I'm desperate for a cup of coffee. In the last couple of days, I've had these like like migraines, and something in the back of my head is going, "It might be the coffee." And then I wake up going, "I need coffee," and then thinking, "Oh, I had a glass of time, and I'm so confused. I don't know what to do about that." But um, yeah, anyway. it's a good idea to try not to drink coffee. I've I haven't been, I have drank coffee for the last two or three days because of the translation. But other than that, I very seldom drink coffee, like maybe once a week. or. What do you think happens when I go and meet weeks? clients? I don't know. You drink Co coffee? Coffee? No, it, you can't really say no sometimes. Um, well, you sometimes. can go for the tea. You could. You could. You know. Yeah. Habit, Seriously, habit I, stop, I, stop, I, stopped, I stopped drinking coffee and, and I had a big headache for about three days. Mm -hmm. And then it subsided. And can I ask you to remind me to do something? Yeah. Yesterday I forgot to add um, the activity links under the video. Ah. Remember the articles? I said I'm going to add this stuff under the articles on on Facebook. I didn't do it, so. Yeah. Uh, you know, just kick my <laughs> kick me kick me in the right direction. Shiny and, uh, metal. Okay. 
<laughs> Duh. Right. Um, don't know Sorry. what you've been downloading from the internet. But anyway. <laughs> it's um, really a cartoon. It's the cartoon that you've never watched. That's why I don't know it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. Um, uh, well, it's pointless jumping into a new topic today. And we've got lots of stuff that we're building up that we can uh, that we can discuss yeah. tomorrow. Um, so I thought we might finish. Why don't you finish what you started? Finish what we started yesterday. Yeah, which was that's the, a good uh, idea. The useful, useless. Useful, right. useless. Ooh, hit me. With that was a song, wasn't it? Uh, yeah. Hit me with your rhythm stick. Hit me, <laughs> hit me quick. It? <laughs> it, was a pop, it was a big pop song. Hit, hit me with your rhythm stick. Right. Okay. <laughs> That's just, it, just, it just clicked right there. It just the sounds wrong. Subconsciously programming into our minds as, <laughs> as kids. Right. It does sound terribly wrong. <laughs> right. <laughs> now, now, now that I think about it, <laughs> with my logical adult brain. Well, that's just because of the Disney movies that you tried to download. <laughs> Disney matter. Uh, there you go. There we go. Language joke. Uh, okay. Uh, 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 <laughs> how, how do you feel today? Uh, 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 right, no need for words. <laughs> that's exactly how I feel, actually. You've, you've said it, man. Yeah, I hit that nail on the head. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, <laughs> all right, all right. Productivity tips for busy parents. Um, uh, useful or useless? I will suggest the 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 tip. Uh huh. <laughs> and you will uh, you will <coughs> laud its wonderful effectiveness, or you will shoot it down in flames. Okay. Right? Um, setting a timer for tasks. We had that one yesterday. Did we? And I said it's a good idea. Oh, time limit to you or something like that. You were like setting time limits. Specifically tried not to pick one from yesterday. Well, maybe they are, you know, kind of like very similar or something. Hmm. Okay. Right. Yeah, time limit. I said yes, time limit is a good thing. It motivates and it makes things move faster. Okay, uh, write a list of things that you need to do at the beginning of the day. Yes, that is a very good productive tool. Write a list of things that you need to do at the end of the day. Ah, there's a difference. Um, Nobody knows what they need to do at the end of the day. They're still busy trying to get the stuff done that from the last list. <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah. Um, at one point, I would write my to-do list for the week, actually. And then not follow them. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I would I would go for the beginning of the day. I know that it is advised to make your list at the end of the day for the next day, but I'm just too tired it's in the evening vision. to do that. Doing things at the end of the day is about vision. It's about um, pro- programming your mind to know what's going to happen when you wake up. I know, and that's a great thing, but I already know what's going to happen when I wake up because I've got my morning routine. That's one thing. And the second thing is I'm too bloody tired in the evening to try to make my brain move and think about what's going to happen tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, I'm a morning person, so, so I choose the morning option. Crossing things off the list as you do them. Yeah. Good thing? Good yeah. Thing. Okay. Good thing, yeah. Right. Yeah. Psychologically. Totally. Um, what do you call it? Um, uh, motivating. Yeah. No? Satisfying. Sat- oh, satisfying. satisfying. Oh, it's even more satisfying if you make it fun. Like, put a little stamps next to it or or... Color it with a co- crayon, co- or co- if you've got time to color it with a crayon, <laughs> that's not really going to increase your productivity, is it? Right. It's just, it's right. just going to make um, it nicer. Uh, having having a healthy breakfast? Question mark. What is healthy? Exactly, because I'm most productive when I don't have any breakfast. Do you? Do you more often have breakfast or not have breakfast? Uh, I would say 50-50. And yet you know that you're less productive when you have breakfast, mm-hmm. but you still have breakfast. Yes, because sometimes I wake up and I'm already feeling all lazy and I just have breakfast. <laughs> I just give up, right? You give up before you start? 
Sometimes. How do you expect to encourage people to <laughs> stop? It? It's not that I give up. It's just so I'm I'm being nice to myself and I'm treating myself to a slow beginning of a day. Vision, envisage, vision the outcome that you want to see. Um, vision. Is that the word? Envision the outcome that you want to see. Um, yes. I would say that's a natural process of, of creating anything. Mm-hmm. Well, when you see my finger doing this, which no one can see because it's below the screen, I'm telling you all the secrets now, <laughs> um, that means you can't do that right now here. Yeah. And he's not giving him the finger. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I mean, I look, look, I'm putting my hand just below the screen where people can't see it. And I'm just moving my finger like this saying that. It, it just kind of means chill out, calm down. You've got... Oh, he's saying <laughs> Michael Jackson. He thinks Michael Jackson. Now. Michael Jackson, the Stormtrooper Blaster Dance. Uh, right, well, let's move on. Um, <laughs> I don't want to get caught up in that. That's kind of all parental nonsense. Um... Embrace the morning hours. Yes, yes, embrace the morning hours. Embrace the morning. Yes, if you're Worship the morning the person, embrace the morning hours. They're wonderful hours. They're uh, yeah. the productivity hours for me. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Okay. Um, exercise. Yes, do okay. that as well. Okay. Delegate tasks to other people. Um, <laughs> that's a difficult one. Yes. Um, yes, but you also have, you know, you have to learn to let go of your perfectionism and you have to realize that it's not going to look like as if you did it yourself and you just have to be okay with it. So it's a difficult exercise, but it's definitely good. Give yourself breaks during the day. (laughs) Yes and no. You you th- you thinking like you have to grind it out and not have breaks or, or what what's what's the thinking there? Well, I'm most productive when I just go 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 right, and then I stop around say three o'clock in the afternoon and I have a break. And then you can't get started and, again. And then, I, and then I just don't get the momentum going again. Okay. okay. Right? I get that. Um, if I have short, like, periods of work and break and work and break and work and break, I still get work done, but it's not as it's not as powerful as getting the momentum from the morning and just, just go. Mm-hmm. That works for me. Um, plan little rewards for yourself. That doesn't work for me because no. because I will reward myself all the time. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably why it doesn't work for you then. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Well, uh, that was I just I just ran through the list there. I mean, that's uh, 40 productivity tips. We did 20 yesterday, 20 today. Was that 20 really? Well, it's it's about 15 because I jumped over a few of them because they were kind of duplicate or whatever. Or they, they, yes, yeah, they they, or c- both. they yeah they covered points already <laughs> that, that that we'd already made about a lot of stuff. Yeah, but those mm-hmm. were the, th- those were good tips. I mean, I know all the theory. The the problem is that you get all these informations on the internet about how to become more productive and how to become more organized. But at the end of the day, it all comes down to one thing, and that is self discipline. If you don't have that, if you don't have self-discipline, if you're not consistent, um, you can try out million and one things um, and it's not going to do anything for you because that's all you do. You try it out and then Mm -hmm. you ditch it. And um, I don't know how you became as (laughs) consistent and self-disciplined as you are, but I have always been struggling with that. Like always, always, ever since I remember existing, right? It's it's weird. I've always wanted things not to be good, but always to be great. I've always wanted all my work to be great, all my presentations to be great. Um, not exactly sure where that can, and most of them haven't, right? But 
Again, it's constantly grinding it out. It's it's like the fitness thing. Uh-huh. Right? You saw that took me like three plus years to to, yeah. to, to get to where I wanted to get to. So I've you only grind it out. You see, I've only ever wanted to be great at things that I that I cared about, but I never had the motivation to be great at anything else, like mm-hmm. school, for example, right? I always wanted to be great at biology, and I always wanted to be great at painting, but I couldn't give a damn whether I'm going to be mediocre or less than mediocre when it came to chemistry, because I just couldn't, you know, be bothered. Yeah. Well, it's the leave a legacy principle, right? I, I've... My, my family's history is kind of lost in the sands and mists of time. And I want to start a new chapter. I don't want everything to to disappear. I don't want... Um, I'm sure there are many wonderful things that happened to me when I was young that I can't even remember now. Maybe my friends can't even remember them. They're just lost in the sands and the mists of time. I want to build a record of things that that happen and that that happen to yes but lots of people want behind. to do that lots of people want to do no, that no they don't but really want to do it just saying it is not really <coughs> it's just saying it is just you know it, it, it's paying lip service to something you know it doesn't it, it doesn't mean anything unless you take massive action upon the ideas that you speak well my point is that you're not taking massive action the, the point is that you're taking small actions I but you're over time it builds up over well time. that's what i'm just like saying one video a day for a year turns out to be 365 videos at that's the what end i'm of saying years. that's what i'm saying that's not a massive action it's like i'm going to slay a dragon it's it's tiny little actions every day and that's what that's what i slay a dragon have okay. not been so good with mm-hmm. It's the it's, it's the daily consistent, you know, routine little things that you have to realize that the the outcome that you owe you and that you own you. You have to realize those two points. You owe you. You owe it to yourself to be the best that you can be, and you own you. No one else is going to get you to that point but you. And. Once you realize that, really realize it, you know, and it's it's part of the fact that that I've got to go twice as fast to keep up with some of the stuff that you're doing because there's there's a slight age difference between us, right? And I'm gonna that's gonna catch up at a later point, right? And I'm gonna I I have to work harder now because I don't have the ten years. Mm-hmm. That you still have. I don't have that anymore. Mm-hmm. So I've got to work hard and I to make up that difference. Mm-hmm. Um, so, um, you know, it, it's. Oh, that's all very relative. And you've got to give yourself a. It's like the. Uh, sorry to jump in, but it's like. It's like if you, have you ever seen the Greyhound dog racing where they're chasing a rabbit around the track? Mm-hmm. You've got to give yourself something to chase as well. Mm-hmm. And that's one of the ways I give myself something to chase. It's like, okay, I've got. That there's a difference there. I've got to make up for it in some way. Uh huh. I've got to make up for that that fact that that there there's a disparity there. I've got to imagine that I, I've got to get myself further ahead. I understand. Than, than, than I understand. the point at which I'm at. So we got to give ourselves things to chase as uh-huh. well. So um, anyway. Um, That's interesting. Yeah, I never thought about that that way. So, how are we doing for time? Right, um, people are going to be uh, going off to make coffee and, you know, they're, they're needing to get on with their lives and uh, stuff. So, um, I thought I'd, um, I wanted to start with something, but we'll finish with it instead. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. There's lots of stuff, actually, that I wanted to do. Um, I wanted to talk about the town fair that's going on, the Yarmok in town. I wanted to talk about the disturbing, disturbing uh, thread that I've seen on the internet today. Okay, we'll do the disturbing thread quickly. We'll see where that it's goes. It's just very quick. It's not probably going to go anywhere. It's just the point that I wanted to make because because it disturbed me. Uh, I want uh, went oh, he's on. He's disturbing me right now. He's over there. Sorry, he's I know. You just kicked out. Sorry, people. Uh, <laughs> didn't mean to cause an earthquake. An earthquake. Don't panic. Yeah. It's okay. Uh, We're still here. So I went on a mama forum as as I do, you know, just to look for motivation and inspiration and see what <laughs> your mama to see what what mamas are struggling with right and I found this 
<laughs> Apart from hyperactive kids in the evening, uh, <laughs> I, I found this thread. Uh, it was just a simple question saying, does anyone have self-confidence issues ever since they've had their babies, right? And there is this massive amount of reactions. There's like 400 comments, right? <coughs> Interesting question. And every single one of those comments was was, was women by, was by a woman. <laughs> <laughs> was gonna say was gonna say women that. having well, no self huge self confidence issues after having babies, and it was all about the body image, you know, putting on weight, and it was heartbreaking things. It was. It was heartbreaking comments like I can't stand looking at myself in the mirror and and I cry every time I think about you know whatever and it's like women mothers um, of little babies have these massive self confidence issues that come with the loss of career and the, the 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 loss of the physical appearance that they used to have and often abusive families and abusive people around about them who don't support them and and uh i was just thinking oh my god if you could just if you could just reach out to all of those 400 people right <laughs> it just let them know that that it's okay right <laughs> And and help them in some way to to realize, you know. I I always thought that that kind of maturity comes with age to realize that the self worth doesn't come from the outside, mm -hmm. and from what you look like and stuff, but from the inside. But um, I don't know. I I guess it doesn't. I don't know where it comes from. Well, can I open this for you, darling? But I just self confidence <laughs> comes. Yeah. It comes. Well, it comes from understanding that there's some things that you don't know, right? And you have to be comfortable with that. And those things that you don't know, you will have to learn at some point in time, and you have to be comfortable with that, and you have to work at it. Yeah. Um. Here's something that connects with that. It, it, I, I don't have like like an answer for that at the moment. Um, before I say that, could we could, could we get him just to either go to his room or go to that front room and do whatever is in that front room with the door closed because he's really annoying me with those sounds. Nah. Well, would you like me to talk to him? Will, Will, can you come here now, please? Will. Okay, can you either A, go to your room and close the door, or B, go to the front room there and close the door. Whatever you're doing, don't do it here, okay? Do it in one of those two rooms and close the door, please. Thank you very much. Right, done. So you think? <laughs> no, he can't decide which room to go in without giving him a choice. He takes his fucking going back and forth between the two rooms. <laughs> and I just used the F word. Okay, there we go. That's how late it is. So, um, you're triggered. I was. Tr I, I, what do you expect with him doing that for the last twenty minutes? Uh, especially after me telling him twice specifically not to do it. He went and did the exact thing. The exact thing that I told him not to do. He went and did. He could have done anything. He could have picked any activity on the entire planet to do it, and he did the one thing that I told him not to do. You know why though. Because he's tired and he's engulfed in his game and he just forgets. Yeah, well, I'm engulfed in my game. He's still, he's still doing it. He's still standing there doing it. Well, I've given you very specific instructions. Could you follow them, please, for me, for five or ten minutes? Could Can you, you go, go to, to your one room, of those please? two rooms, please, and close the door? Thank you. Oh my God. Well, there's really nothing interesting in there. There's nothing interesting in his room. Yeah. You know, when I was a kid, my f my parents always had visitors. Was I, am I wrong to want to... Uh, bang. Am I, am, am I wrong to just want just that little bit of space and time? And I, like, I want him to play. I want him to do things. I just don't want him to do them right in front of us when we're recording. <laughs> right? We understand. He's got, he's got, he could do it anywhere, go anywhere and do it. He doesn't have to do it right here and, and bother us. It's like, 
it, it's like a subconscious message that he wants us to turn this off and to finish this and to focus all our attention on him. Yes. And I understand that. And and and, 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 and oh, we it's will my do so that. it's we my will, fault as well because we I will didn't do that once we finish this. But yeah, it's my fault as well stuff. because I didn't give him enough attention today. I was busy today working, so I guess he just didn't get enough, you know, stimulation from me in the first place. I don't think they were outside enough today. I think that was part of it as well. Yeah. Okay. Um, See our 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 issues, right? Our our unresolved issues. Well, we'll get there eventually. <laughs> um, so I was talking. Oh, it's so much nicer now. I don't have to listen to lightsabers and laser cannons. Um, I can focus on what I'm. S- Do you think so? Oh, he just, just opened the door. <laughs> God. <sighs> right. I was talking to one of my clients today about what we're doing with the parenting stuff Mm -hmm. and they they were asking me like why are you doing it yeah it's nice why are you doing that (laughs) but and of course what's obvious to me is very okay you can't do it can you i think the zora this time (laughs) i'm pretty sure that was what came out there for a second look there look there's (laughs) what is it why Will, is it possible you could go to your room just for five minutes and not disturb us? We'll finish in five minutes. I promise you I'll come to the room, Will. Just please go in, close the door, stay there. I'll be right there. The longer, the more times you interrupt us, the longer this takes, mate. (laughs) No, because it takes longer because you always interrupt us. Please go to your room. Please wait. That's ridiculous. The very thing I'm asking him not to do is... Welcome to my world! <laughs> continually doing. Perhaps if I said to him, Will, could you spin round on your head? He would go to his room. I don't know. Um, anyway. Mm. So, students asking, like, why are you doing this? Why are you putting out this information? Well, the, the first thing is that I had a realization that Talking about parenting is great because everyone has some experience of it. Yes. Whatever you do, whenever you reach out and try to connect with people, you, you, there's kind of a worry of d- they're able to understand the experience that you're talking about. But everyone, even though everyone's experiences are different, you've either had the experience of being a parent and it, or if you haven't had the experience of being a parent, you've been a kid who's been brought up by people, hopefully parents, right? And so everyone's got some experience that they can share and they can talk about. Mm -hmm. And I don't think there's enough of it. I mean, look at the whatever's on. The radio is filled with ridiculously silly songs instead of people communicating vitally important information. (coughs) So thank goodness we have the internet now. Um, Then the the client asks, okay, you're you're, you're doing that. So what, what are you offering people? What are you offering people? And I was thinking that's that's another great question to 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 answer. Mm-hmm. Like what what is what is what is the information that we're offering? And that's basically real life solutions in an imperfect world is what we're offering. Real life solutions, and you can see from what's happened in the last ten fifteen minutes, mm-hmm. real life solutions in an imperfect world. And my student said, I don't understand. So I was thinking, okay, how do I explain this to someone who doesn't understand? Because it's a, you know, it's kind of like a general abstract statement. Uh, yeah. Okay. So I said, right, you have a kitchen. Yeah. Okay, I got a kitchen. Okay, in your kitchen you have pots and pans and uh, different types of spoons and utensils and plates and you got a lot of different stuff there. So yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Well, these are all tools that you have. But you can't use all the tools at one time. Each tool has sort of a specific purpose. And what we're doing is we're giving people the tools that they can use when they need them. They might not need them today, but at some point in time, just like a kitchen where you've got all those pots and pans, you've got all those cupboards full of different things, you've got your different ingredients, your spices, and yeah, your different... Uh, I don't know, whatever, <laughs> all this stuff, just looking at the kitchen through there, saying bottles and 
containers and jars and whatever. So it's it's it, it's providing those 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 tools. We're putting everything in the kitchen that the people need, so that when they need it, they can just go and get it, and they can they can find a little bit more easily, hopefully, some solutions to problems mm -hmm. that they have. And uh, that that was the way I explained it. And then the the, the client said, "It's a oh. good way of explaining the, it." The client, yeah. the client said, "Ah, oh, okay, I get it now." I think the personal the personal involvement in the, from our side is also mm -hmm. important because there's a lot of information on the internet. So, I mean, you know, you've got people, if, if parents are confused, don't know how to deal with some situations, they can get on Google and Google mm -hmm. something and they can find some articles or whatever, but it's not the same as, as, as having people communicating with you. You still can't have a, you're missing the conversation. Exactly. You're missing the conversation. And, and that is also why it doesn't, it often doesn't work. You know, people want to find a more peaceful solution to their problem with their child. You know, they don't want to spank the kids every time because they see it doesn't work. Um, but just, you know, reading the article doesn't do anything for them. They see, oh, well, that all looks very well on paper, but I don't think that world works in real world. And they just go back into their own way. So I think that maybe, maybe seeing people who do it and... and you know, it works and you can ask questions and you can communicate about things and you can say, hey, I don't think that works because, mm -hmm. you know, um, I think that, I hope that helps as well. Yeah, sometimes you have to try two or three different ways. Sometimes you have to try different recipes to, to see what the result will be and you don't know exactly what the end result will be uh, as well. And it's also understanding that you can't, Generally, you can't instantly solve problems that have developed over a long period of time. It's like, no? I think it's like, uh, it's it's the same like <laughs> reading psychology books and then going to a real psychologist or psychotherapist, right? If you don't have the feedback, you don't have the feedback from the book, right? Yeah, if you don't have true. the feedback, it's much more difficult to grow because, because you're left to your own devices. Mm -hmm. So, uh, okay. you know, I think it's important that that people disagree with us mm -hmm. if they feel like disagreeing <sighs> well said because right. I know for a hundred percent that mm -hmm. respectful and peaceful parenting works but sometimes it doesn't work for people because they think they're doing it but they're not <laughs> right let's draw things to a close two things I want to do uh bit of promo about where to find us and more information about us and uh, you can find us on youtube the academy of language therapy and life coaching facebook also the academy of language therapy and life coaching follow me on facebook and get the live daily updates uh get the practical parenting and the background on homeschooling as well then uh, there's a pinterest page you can check out that i'll put some links up to that and uh where else are we? We're, we're all over the place. We're um, all over the place. You can join the, the Facebook group called 21 Century Mom. With a U. <laughs> with a U. With a U. Not with you. Me. With you. But you. <laughs> um, I want to call it 21st Century. I think that's that thing. Because there's a... There's a there's uh there's that there's that seventies rock song, but was it T by T Rex 21st Century? Boy or something. That's I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, and it would like 21st century. Well, oh, yes. I out. I'm saying I'm saying 21 kind of so that people don't put that st in that word because okay. because then it, they wouldn't find it right. So. Okay. Um, 21 century mom. 21 century mom. Um, okay. Yes. Cool. And. Uh, and. And. Um, attitudes of gratitude. I want to finish with that. Attitudes of ah, gratitude. Ah, um, that's okay. Yeah. So, saying what you are thankful for that's happened today. Oh, I was very thankful for the fact that I have finished my translation. <laughs> you were thankful for the fact of something that you did. I don't think that... that um, that's, not, that's not real gratitude. It's right? not, is it? It's, it's not, not going to be thankful to myself. <laughs> yeah, you just thanked yourself. I mean, but no, I can't do that, can't I? Can't I just thank myself? No. Thank you, Yanka. No, no, no. <laughs> can't I say thank you, Yanka, for, uh, for being such a hard worker and for, for doing this? Not right now, no. I'm being I'm being strict about it. You cannot uh, gra expressing gratitude is not about expressing gratitude to to towards yourself. It's 
about expressing gratitude. <laughs> it's about a connection to the world, not yourself. Right. Um, Ooh, what do I there. express gratitude for? I express gratitude for the fact that my kids have been very patient and nice today, and they have mm-hmm. been playing nicely together, and um, and have listened to me. Um, oh, I have to move my bum because <laughs> I'm crushing something. What are you crushing? I'm cr- <laughs> You're right there. crushing the round hairy things. Right. There we go. Oh, look, we, we finished where we started. <laughs> That's what I was just thinking. Talking about the bed knobs. Like. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> you started I it. I know I started it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just you playing along. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, moon. moon. Oh. I'm grateful for the moon. It's shining very brightly today. And it has been shining brightly yesterday and before yesterday as well. You don't know how to express gratitude, do you? You need to work on that skill. Do I? Yes. You need to work on that skill. You, you, th- those. You have given two examples which really don't hit the mark. In terms also, of show me how you express gratitude. <sighs> I'd like to thank you for taking the kids out this this evening and giving them the little bit of exercise that they needed when I couldn't do it. I'd like to thank you for cooking lunch today. The uh, I didn't have lunch at lunchtime, did I? Because I, 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 no, I, I was out know. early today, but I had it. I had the lunch when I the soup in the evening. Yeah, mm-hmm. when I came home, it's very nice. Thank you very much for that. Um, I'd like to thank you for sharing the information and experiences on the uh, live Facebook web netcast video and the podcast as well. Um, I'd like to thank you for your. Your patience with my impatience. Oh, so well, so we're expecting, expecting. <laughs> so we're expressing gratitude towards each other. Is that what you're saying? It's about expressing gratitude, because because when you say express gratitude, I kind of I kind of take it as gratefulness to the universe. Yeah, exactly. Thank kind you, thank you for the opportunity. Thank abstract. you, great God of the universe, for the opportunity of being here on this planet, this marvelous, great, <laughs> spinning. Ball of water and carbon. Yes. There's probably a few other elements as well. Probably yes. Right. Um, <laughs> right. That hovers around a fiery sun in a universe of unpredictability. Okay. Are we getting um, there? I can. I can. Uh, I can be thankful. <laughs> <laughs> she, she said, laughing, which <laughs> which makes me doubt that fact. Well, I, here's here's what I thought you could do, or we could do, is call the kids through uh-huh. and express to them how grateful we are. Okay. To them. Okay. But first, I'm grateful to you. First, I'd like to say thank you for, uh, again, setting everything up, um, because it's that tedious thing. It's one of those tedious things that <laughs> I have problem. Terrible explanation of what. And that I have of, of problem the, with the keeping up, of, right? Of, of, of the technical yes, stuff. Yes, yes, I know it's extremely complex, and it hurts my brain to even think about it. Why so. do you think I've had a migraine for <laughs> the last five days? Exactly. So yeah, thank <sighs> you, thank you for that. Not, because not, not if you didn't do that, then nothing, none of this would be possible, and I wouldn't have the opportunity to express all my wonderful ideas and send them out into the universe of the internet. Mm, great body language. There. I know. <laughs> You're very big with everything. <laughs> And uh, something that very wonderful happened to me. I was just showing you the vastness of the universe of the internet, yeah. in case you haven't seen it. Yes. Okay. Can I? Can I? Um. Are you? Are you? Oh, do you, are you going to continue? Yes. Yes. And uh, and uh, mm-hmm. thank you for your presence. I didn't give you any presents. You are giving us presents, and you're also going to give me your presents this evening when we're going to watch Galavan together and laugh at it together. Because I told you, Galavan or Hamish Macbeth this evening? Have we got Galavan. We have to. Gal- we have to do Galavan because I, I really need to relax my brain. Anyway, uh, I told you that it's just not funny. He, he died. 
Yeah. Yeah. I, I, it's the last thing I saw was the fact that there was a star in him and he died and then yeah. he came back to life. How do yeah. You, there's some oh, we can watch it again. They some selling salts on them or something. Oh, they smelling, sprinkled smelling, something. Smelling, smelling. Oh, no, the, the, the guy, the guy yeah. that they came to see, the Neo, that they went to see, had a, he had a potion, but it wasn't just finished. He, he needed a a gray hair a of gray a hair middle-aged virgin man. Yeah, uh, yeah, okay, who was being chased by a unicorn. Yeah. Oh, and then he gave them, he gave them all the zombies to fight the battle. Yes, yes. <gasps> And that's where we finished. We're fin- we we have finished with him. <laughs> he's like trying to creep up on the castle. <laughs> with <laughs> the zombies, followed, yeah. He's being followed by all these zombies. He's going like, guys. Should I? He's like, guys. <laughs> <laughs> the Google have just spied on us and decided to tell us things about unicorns because we have mentioned a unicorn. Oh my God, the tablet just turned on and gave us a definition of a unicorn. Yeah. Does it say anything about following virgins? Stop it. How do I turn it off? I don't even I don't want know. this page to be here. This is weird. Okay. So, um... Bizarre. Bizarreness. Yeah, so I, and he had a problem motivating his zombie troops, right, uh, to go into the battle. <laughs> <laughs> and he found out that that what what got them motivated was love, right? So he gave them a big true love speech that they're going to fight for love, and 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 that's when they kind of went to march onto the castle. Oh my God! I don't know what drugs the writers took when they were. I don't that. know, but it's anyway, as I said, time. it's it's not funny without you. So um, I, I'm uh, I'm I'm going to be very grateful for. <laughs> For, for you sitting next to me and watching Galavad with me, because okay. I need that tonight. Okay, super cool. Um, that's that, that, that's that's great. Thank you very much. Um, all that remains for us to do is to thank you very much for tuning in. Thank you very much for paying attention. I hope you got something positive. If you didn't get something positive out of this, then give us a question to answer. It's your fault. Right, for not joining in, for not being here. Give us a question to answer and we'll answer it, right? So get involved. Get involved. Motivate yourself. Do something. Get involved. If even if you don't get involved with us, start a conversation with someone somewhere about how to be better parents. Do it. Do it now. Do it today. Do it do it do it as soon as possible. Yeah, just reach out and and, and start get started get started who knows where it'll end get started you can also pick up uh, pick up our free daily email on the facebook page as well that's got cool information that you can use practical tips and lots of other little bits and pieces and freebies that we give away sometimes so it's been cool and um, i think that we should uh, i think we should go and do some gratitude towards the kids we won't do it on the camera we'll go and do it off the camera but we'll go and say thanks to the kids for just being themselves right because yes. I feel kind of feel that I I know I needed to say those things, but it just you know I don't feel good about it. It's time to connect. Yes, yes, absolutely. It's time to connect. Uh, it's time to connect with the kids and disconnect with the people out there. Yes. So wherever you are, whatever you're doing, we'll be connecting morning, with you again next time. Evening. See ya. Goodbye. Good luck. Whatever. Take care. <laughs>